Hi there, Gemini. It's Michelle here with Angel Souls. This is your March 2024 angelic reading. You can, of course, treat this as timeless. Whenever you come across this video, this message is for you. Now, forgive me if I kind of lean back a little bit. My back is hurting from <laughs> been sitting too long, okay? <laughs> but let's get your story. Let's see what's going on for all of you for March 2024. There's one sticking out right there. Six of Gabriel, there's a victory. Here is a victory. All right. This one wants to come out too. The High Priestess. Two of Michael. <laughs> five of Raphael and the Wheel. Did I get us five cards? Let me see. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Let me get the overall story here and tune in a little bit here. Your intuition is going to be on fire this month. And we know that from, oh, look at how I put these. <laughs> Do you know what this reminds me of? Is anybody old enough to remember um, the Richard Simmons diet cards? They were like this. Comment down below if you know what the heck I'm talking about. If you don't, no, you missed out. It was fun. Okay. Um, the high priestess is saying, you know, your intuition is going to be breaking through it to the point where your frequency is in a place that you can't be a match for what you used to accept you've been through a lot as i tell everybody the sixth of gabriel we'll work this out <laughs> look have i come up with something have I? I don't know. Maybe this is this is fun, funsies. Uh, the six of Gabriel. It says, "Congratulations, you've done a wonderful job. Time to move on to the next project, awards, scholarships, or promotions." So that's this one right here. Now the thing is, is that this guy is coming out of battle. He's usually depicted. Now this is the angel energy. We put angel energy around this, but a lot of times this guy is depicted as being pretty torn up. <laughs> okay, but there's a win you're coming into this month with a win and then we have the high priestess number two we talk about two we're talking about balancing we're talking about not letting the mind run away you know with oh, with speculation with thoughts um that don't serve you you know negative self-talk but we're also talking about not getting so crazy with your spiritual stuff that you aren't grounded anymore right that's not the high priestess she knows how to be intuitive in a human body and, and balancing the two. Now, here we have Archangel Haniel. Okay, Archangel Haniel. Haniel is associated with moon phases. So definitely take time to look at, um, you know, new moons, full moons, what's happening for you around that time. She's also about the divine feminine and the divine feminine energy and embracing that. Everyone has both masculine feminine energies within them you know to what degree what level depends on you your soul's contract you know whatever it is that you need to know and this is powerful psychic insights reflection and meditation that provides valuable information be at peace all right you've come through something something has worked out in a certain way you're getting intuitive hits about it and then you're hit with a little bit of doubt now we're going to talk about this, but if you want to work with me and get a standard reading, go to my website, angelsouls444.com. I can give you, I'm an angel medium. So yes, sometimes I use cards, but I'm a medium. I'm an actual medium. I don't just read the cards. Okay. <laughs> so if you want to get a reading, angelsouls444.com. Here and there, I can take a live reading session. Please make sure you're respectful of the time if you book a half hour we go a half hour and that's it no more okay so if you want a live reading session or you want a one-on-one -on, -one on zoom via zoom teaching course one is on how to connect with your angels i have one on learning angel mediumship and i have one on learning to read angel oracle cards okay if you're interested in any of those email me angelsouls444 at gmail.com the website is for the readings I always have. I'm having people email because these aren't always steady offerings. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so here's the confusion and a little bit of sadness that comes with this confusion, which is weird because you're like, okay, I'm done. I know exactly uh, where I'm headed. 
I'm, my intuition is strong. It's, you know, I'm listening to my intuition. When the two of Michael comes up after a couple of cards like that, when the, here's another two, I often feel like it's a, an internal battle, right? I mean, I'm, I'm conflicted between the old version of me and where I'm supposed to be headed. Um, this could also be outside, I don't want to call it interference because maybe someone's just giving you feedback and saying, well, did you consider X, Y, and Z before you go running away with this big idea? And now it's a little bit of conflict, okay? So it says, it will be better if you just make a decision over analyzing a problem. Hi, Gemini. Do you do that? Um, find a compromise. So it's not just, oh, thank God, the road is open. I can just go ahead. The, the gate opens and you start going and you realize I don't have a map that's what's going to make you, that's what's going to give you pause. Okay. That's going to make you stop and go, should I be doing this? Is this the right thing? I'm so afraid of failure. Two of Michael, like being conflicted, I'm afraid of failing. And then this goes into the energy of five of Raphael. It says everything happens for a reason, release regret and embrace the opportunities for happiness. Search for the silver lining. These two make me think, that, okay, so you're high off this victory. Your intuition is lit up. It is on fire. And you're like, yes, I know exactly what I'm to do. And oops, something got in the way. Or oops, that wasn't how that was supposed to turn out. Oh, now I have to start over. That's what it feels like. Do you ever, have you ever done any bait game? And you go through it and <laughs> you, you put all these steps into it and you realize you forgot one little ingredient, but it's so imperative. Maybe, maybe it was the baking powder or something like it, it's a quarter of a teaspoon of baking powder, but you need it. Okay. And you realize the whole batch is ruined. Right. And you have to start over from the beginning. All is not lost. Right. Because you learned from it. Um, but there is still a little bit of, oh gosh, that, that was... That would, that, again, I don't want to use the word waste. That's over. I have to let that go and I have to move on. Now, in the depiction on this card, this woman is wearing a beautiful dress, but she had to destroy, not destroy, but open these other packages in order to get the pretty dress out. I didn't make the cards, okay? I don't, <laughs> but I think that's what that's supposed to be depicting. Anyway, let's get you to <laughs> the nice energy of this month. We have the number 10 here. It's the wheel. This is Archangel Jeremiah. What's going to be happening through these two moments or the, this, you know, series of moments throughout the month? 10 is a completion. 10 is, okay, I get it. Let's start the process of ending it. When we get, to, so you start the process of letting things go at 10. 11 is manifestation. 12 is the number of, I've got all pieces of the puzzle it is complete and there is no going back, all right? The 10 is a little bit different. It's a completion, but Archangel Jeremiah shows up. And when he shows up on a card, that's talking about a life review. That's talking about, see, see how you're not quite at the 12? You haven't quite just gone, okay, I'm at peace with that. I'm just gonna move on. No, you're still in the reevaluation stage, but we have the wheel, okay? And it says new beginnings, end of delays, a change in direction that offers happiness. So by looking back over, the way you're looking over the past is, okay, I learned from my mistakes, okay, and I'm not going to allow myself to um, beat myself up over something that didn't work out. I'm just going to go back. I'm going to try again. And that is where things get moving. This is where things start opening up for you this month. So overall, it's... A really beautiful time. You get a little bit of a rest right from the top of the, well, hopefully from the top of the month. Um, obviously, when we're talking about angels and angelic energy, that always comes with you working towards your spiritual wellness. You can't just jump in and expect the universe to come in and get you out of a situation, right? So, uh, so okay, at some point you guys are going, because you try something and it doesn't work, the first time, you might get into this place of, I doubt my intuition. I doubt my intuition. We've got the high priestess and two of Michael here. 
it's like, yeah, well, I'm, I'm getting this sense about this situation, but I'm also feeling a little of this too, right? Like it's kind of back and forth and be careful. Like you're learning to trust more. Um, I don't know. I feel like there's some sketchy characters <laughs> around some of you and they can get in the way of your progress. So just be careful of who you're listening to. Again, that could be someone who comes along and says, um, that like maybe put all this effort into something and then you have to depend on an agent or someone like that to sort of get you through and they reject you and say, no, like I'm a writer. So I can't tell you how many times I've written query letters and things like that for a novel that I've written. And you know, it could be a very nice rejection. Um, I've heard all kinds of things like, you know, I really enjoy your work, but I'm not taking the genre on right now. Or I just started working with someone in the genre and that's as much as I'm taking. Um, because agents tend to, at least in my experience, it seems like they're kind of shifting around what they're looking for quite often. So it might be something like that where, yeah, it's a rejection, but it's a nice rejection. Like it's not a don't you ever come back here again with your sloppy work. <laughs> it's here's some feedback and you got to go back to the drawing board. Okay. But something here is breaking open for you. If you don't get your ego involved, you don't want to say that in every reading. Do not get your egos involved. Okay. Because then you start maybe getting a big head or you start um, wanting to get revenge on people. Some of you watching this probably want to do that or you want to rub your success in someone's face. That's not going to help you. Okay. That's not what we're doing here. You don't have to, you don't owe anybody an, an explanation for, um, where you're at it is what I want to add in here as well. Good things unfolding. Make sure you're riding this wave. Stay in touch with the divine. Okay. Stay in touch with spirit and, uh, of the highest frequency. See how this plays out for you. Again, angelsouls444.com if you want me to tune in specifically for you um, and, and take this to an even deeper level. All right, I'm gonna leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.